In this video, I want to show you how you can use the news pages in SharePoint Online to drive awareness and not just for announcements, because I, I suppose you think that's just there to replace announcements, right? So it's going to be a silly little page with images and text on it, and it's going to replace the emails that we send, and you couldn't be more wrong. When you build a news page, it's very similar to any other site page that you build, which means you can add web parts as well. Think about that for a moment. So we can create really dynamic announcement and news feeds that goes out. So in this example, I'm going to launch an updated policy awareness campaign, okay? Because what's the point of updating policies if people don't know they've been updated? Now, if you look at my landing page, you'll see that I've created a news article called Employee Conduct Policy Awareness. If I go to this article, you'll see that it's not just text. I've added some text there, pretty cool, nice banner, blah, blah, blah. So I've added some text there, but I've also added a web part to go to all the policies in the company. So right from here, they can actually check any other policies as well that they want to take a look at. And then, of course, I've got some links in there, which I feel can help the employees like the hotline and know your rights and importance of self-value and the mentorship program pages. Then uh, when you scroll down, I've actually brought a page viewer in that actually displays this policy to them. Not duplicating any contact be, uh, content people, this specific policy is in this library right there. And then also what I've done, brought in a little video clip. I know this is my internet launch, but let's say that was the HR lady doing a bit of a what this new policy is about. And um, then on the right hand side, I've built a quiz in Microsoft Forms to get feedback after people have actually looked at the policy to ask some questions. And that'll help us benchmark whether people understand what the policy means or what the changes actually means. How does it impact them? What is it going to do, etc. So there's a little quiz as well on the right hand side. And uh, so I've got a video, I've got a quiz, I've got a page a file viewer which shows the policy. I've got some quick links to other websites as well. Got some text in there and I've got a web part in there that actually displays the policy. I mean, that's a real dynamic newsletter if you ask me. So much better than those boring PDFs we used to send out, right? Now remember, I can promote this article as well by sending it out by email because people don't quite like go to the intranet yet. We've got to get them there. So here's an example of that email that goes out. So there's uh, just a little note. So take, um, take note of this. And then, of course, if they click on that link, it will then... Um, open up the uh, the article of course you have to be online for this people I mean and that's the big change that we're making right so they need to be online to see this but remember it's not just a normal PDF anymore and then of course the cool thing is, is SharePoint mobile app so let me show you and there you'll see my phone so if I go to uh, to SharePoint and I go to the news tab you will see there is my employee conduct policy awareness newsletter. So opening this up, let's just give it a moment to, there we go. There's the page that you see in the background. There's the web parts with the documents. There's the links. There's the file viewer as well. If I click on it, it actually opens the policy and I can read through it, which is pretty cool. And um, of course, um, you need to be signed in to see the stream and stuff. So just scrolling down. It will ask me to sign in for stream and then of course there's um there's the form as well that i can complete so if i click here i can actually fill out the quiz right here on my phone and i mean that's what makes it really amazing is is me then filling out the quiz right there on my phone after i've read the the news article isn't that so much better than uh, than what we did before i mean come on people well, there you can see my sites as well. And there's the latest published article on the SharePoint side of things. So um, much, much better way, I say, to consume content is to uh, to have things that actually speaks to us and helps us and, uh, and makes the message just so much more meaningful. I hope that uh, you'll enjoy playing around with those news pages. They're definitely quite valuable, I'd say, to get the message across. Chat soon.